like me, you are a part of this place. Yes, because I answered the letter. And welcome back to some more of Darkest Dungeon. So, I could be upgrading one of these locations and see which stress relief place I would like to get better. But on the other hand, I know that, for example, she specifically requires this place. So I would just like to get this guy out of here and upgrade this a little bit so that I can at least get her stress down a little bit cheaper. I guess we maybe could be sending him for some stress relief because he does have uh, also kind of the similar sort of a situation that he has kind of a lot of it. Not too much maybe, but still quite a bit. If we would embark and okay, this is in this the location that I didn't read this and I haven't visited there ever. So that location at least is completely blind to me. So a strange glow at the farmstead. The comet's impact was felt here in the hamlet. The great impact toppled gravestones and kicked up a cloud of dust that covered the entire region. When it finally settled, an eerie miasma was seen to spread from the mill. It distorted the rules of time and space far beyond imagination imagining ventured the miller's farm to see what has been done we will do that pretty soon i'd say but i kind of want to go one more time into the ruins but i don't know maybe i should go into here i've never been there previously grave robber only could be using such a thing that's actually not bad though it's just a simple bonus plus two speed and that's it no negatives but yeah, then there's a lot of uh, possibilities to go in here, of course, but maybe we will go here. Defeat all enemies, it's quite a lot, but uh, let's see. A light in the sky, something has fallen from the stars and struck the old mill. Neighbors whisper of twisted vegetation and eerily shifting lights. My, my. But yes, obviously not at least. This person definitely won't be leaving. Would be interesting to kind of send her, I guess, considering <laughs> she's already afflicted, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think I will definitely join this so I can be healing us. Then it's just a question of who else exactly and how do we do these placements. You can go and switch around pretty nicely. You hate the mankind and you're fascinated with injury, wounds and torture. How nice of you, Visseneko. Milan, on the other hand, was... Uh, Plus one, five percent, <laughs> plus five accuracy on range skills. I don't think you even have a lot of range skills though, so that's kind of bad. And then cove, cove, so not good in the cove. Also never visited the cove. The locations I've never visited is indeed the cove, darkest dungeon, farmstead. I've been in the wild, warrens and ruins. Pretty much I think those are the only places I've ever been in previously. And uh, now that I... Um, tried this out a little bit before I started the let's play. These are nonetheless the only locations I've ever been in. Everything else is completely uninvestigated. And then Caesar can be pretty well in any of these positions, but again, exactly 3 3. I guess I could be going into the fourth position, but then I can't use one of my skills at least. Yeah, this illumination I can't then use if I go there. I guess it's okay. But it means that I can't... Uh, yeah, it, this would bypass the stealth. The stealth, someone, I guess, minus 20 to dodge. And the torch levels. But I guess I could go into here. Then Caesar would be well enough in this position, apparently. And then Viseneko could be here. And Milan could be here. And we could be completely having a new group. Sure, I'm similar, or <laughs> very much sense this healer. But I think that's okay. We have to see if we can then name them a little bit differently, but okay. Let's just go and uh, investigate the farmstead and we'll see if we can survive from this. We'll see. I am slightly worried. What does this even do? Uh, well, it's anyway some uh, pain or costing these shards that I do not have. We used to tap into other world with power, but we wear its other effects. Hmm. All right. But yeah, you would of course be especially good in the ruins. Where stress heal. You're bloodthirsty indeed and the mankind hater. Hmm. Alright. Let's get first and foremost food if I can. But I guess I can't even. Interesting. I guess this is so short that I can't even buy food. Huh. Interesting. So that's very different then. 
let's at least get one shovel. And apparently because, well, I guess it makes sense at least that I can't buy torches because we are on the world map. So there isn't light, but yes, I can't buy torches and there doesn't appear to be any food that I can buy. Then it's just a question, what should I get then? Let's get one skeleton key and... Um, <sighs> cleanse items and prevent maladies. Maybe I'll try to buy one of those that might be useful in here. I have no idea what to expect. Alright, well, let's go. Let's see what happens when we are embark into the farmstead. Light had struck the harvest again that year, and the miller was desperate. He came to me, hat clutched tightly in filthy fingers, stinking of sweat and manure. Seated comfortably in my observatory, surrounded by telescopes and other delicate apparatus, I recognized his misfortune as an opportunity, and I agreed to lend him my expertise. Aha. Uh -huh. A light in the sky last night, a violent impact, something has struck the old mill. S refreshed? Seems safe enough, I guess. But yes, the farmstead Miasma, yeah, this is specific Miasma, hero party effects, minus 10% healing received and plus 10% distress. That's not the best. Celestial cornerstone. The central fixture in a carefully constructed barrier around the farmstead. Um, well, Caesar, investigate. Eh, some sort of a breach. I don't... I guess this is what we would have collected. Not sure. Onwards. I do not know anything about this, guys. Farm hands, steer the raffle. What are you doing? Ah, uh, repost. Mm, new thing, of course. Repost, two rounds. Repost, 40% less damage. But repost is, generally speaking, a defensive thing. Mm. Also, plus 10% to blight skill chance, 50% blight duration when applied, and plus 3 to speed. Farmhand overall, dodge is 8, speed 2, kind of humans apparently. Mm. And then you are a four man, makes sense. And you can steer the rebels. At least we know that skill. Actually, not sure if that skill came possible for us to see only because we saw it now, probably. Hm. Well. Also, don't remember that well all of your guys' skills. So, let's see. So, this takes you forward. And it's armor piercing. You can attack anyone with it. This is something that takes you backwards. Alright. Bypass is stealth. But no one is in stealth here. And then this is captivate. Uh, Plight 100% base and plus 40% damage versus marked. Unfortunately, no one is marked here, but could be okay. Mm, but they do have pretty good blight resistance, so I guess I'll start with this. Let's try to start attacking the foreman, even though he does have the most hit, hit points, so it will take a while to try to kill him. Nice hit, though. Very nice. Dancing and fighting, there is no difference. And improvement. Hmm. And yes, definitely no difference. Definitely no difference is there with Seneco. Mm, let's see. So there is a transform for the abomination. So he would change into a beast form then. So then would have different skills, I guess. Would make sense to me. And uh, plus 20% to blight resist, plus 10% to damage if you would do that and you heal a little bit but other heroes would be getting stressed so i don't think i want to do that immediately manacles does not hit into the pack row does go stun though that sounds very nice i like that as a skill then beast pile accuracy base damage modifier is a little bit lower but blight blight can be okay and minus 20 percent to blight resist as a debuff could be okay too uh, even though these guys don't get that much blood, bluff res uh, or the blight damage, probably, or blight is difficult to get on them, but may might be able to work. And absolution is then self, stress minus 7, and heal 3 hit points. Pretty nice. 
it's an okay little hailing. I guess I'll start with this and we'll see if we can get any blight on these two fellas over here. Devastating blow. I will not be bound again. But yeah, uh, so this reposed guy definitely did attack us back, but still at least a little bit damage to both of them. And they have uh, the blight resistance at least lowered, so there's more of a chance of succeeding with it afterwards. I guess I would rather try to do some damage, because at the moment we do not really need to heal anyone yet. Uh, so, maybe? Ah, actually I can attack the guy on the back if it is as well, so I shall do that. Even if it's not a lot of damage, but it's at least a little bit. No trespassers. What does that do? Okay, bleeding and marked for him. Don't love that. So, Milan, then. You can crush. Uh, just a basic little attack, basically. Rampart, this takes you forward. That's actually pretty okay. It does a knockback and stun. That's cool. I like those. Then Retribution. Ah, you could also activate the Repost, just like this guy has. So, that's kind of very nice. You could then always go and attack back. So, that's not bad. And you already have Mark. So that wouldn't matter at all. And then you can buff someone else. Or yourself. Buff target plus 5 accuracy. Crit chance. Damage while guarded. Let's do this. Because we already are marked anyway. So who cares if you get marked again. Mm, and how much damage? Little bit of damage to someone. If we do it against this guy. Yeah, this guy doesn't get the repost done then at the time. So that's okay. Yay. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Sure, but on the other hand, you were able to strike back, so it's not bad. I don't like stress, though. Do not like your stress. Giving me stress. Mm. Wondering about this, should I try to do this now again? Because now they are more vulnerable to it, even if they will strike back. But it shouldn't be too bad, so let's see. Yep, now they both are blighted though, so... And that just uh, increases the blight, uh, that they are very vulnerable to it. So, they will be getting some damage from it all the time now, at least. Do this. Do a little bit of a stun, if possible. I think you need to, on the other hand, heal. Even if I would like to also get this guy killed, but I think healing is more important in this situation. White hit points for Milan, and then we Seneco. Could you even possibly be killing this? It's a decent chance. Your damage is 6 to 11, and he has 8 hit points, so definitely a chance to do it. Not quite, not quite. So close, but not quite. Yeah, hitting me, now marking me as well. Wonder how well they can hit all the way there, though. At least you can strike back, so... Okay. Okay, monster waves and respawning, so these are enemies that can respawn. Defeated foes will swiftly be replaced by waves of despicable reinforcement. Your party must endure this onslaught without pause or hope for respite. Because of the strange nature of the time's behavior in the farms that you can retreat with no penalty at any time. Huh. Okay. So, farms that indeed works very differently. The Kale Meter and Crystal Shards. I did look into this in here. All farms that quest have a Kale Meter, the measure of your might and ambition. Feel it by defeating monsters, and when, you tally it's, uh, when your tally hits certain threshold, you will receive a reward of Crystal Shards. These rewards increase the future you venture. Back in the hamlet, the traveler seeks these strange glowing shards. He will trade you for unspeakable artifacts of power. Find him in the Nomad's Wagon. Yes, that is something I did have a little peek into last time around, after all. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. The repost is pretty cool, though. Okay, doing that for this fella then. 
But yeah, I don't know if we could destroy these and then they wouldn't be respawning or how does it work? They have only five hit points, so not that much, certainly. Not definitely that much. Shame that I can't hit all the way there. Oh yeah, that would just uh, change me. This does how much damage? It could be possible to kill one of these, so I guess we should try that. See if we can destroy one of these crystals completely. The nice. It's completely destroyed at least. Confidence surges nice. As the enemy crumbles. This is still unnice too. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Milan do it with that repose, but the only unfortunate situation is that you are also bleeding and very damaged. So that's the that's the unfortunate thing, but I think we should try to see if we can destroy Another these crystals. We did destroy that one, which is cool. Okay, divine heal please. Really would need a lot more healing. <sighs> I wish that I had the what is it? Actually, was there any way for you to heal yourself? No, I don't think so. Very, very unfortunate indeed. Hmm. Yeah, you just uh, are very wounded. Wish that you had some sort of a self-heal. Otherwise we probably will have to go and try to leave from here because this is kind of getting very dangerous when we have no food. It's kind of sad too that we weren't able to, we weren't allowed to go and buy any food at all. Well, let's try, try to crush these bodies then. That's uh, horrific. Okay. That then just suddenly <laughs> full rank of this game came back into here. Um, we can try to fight otherwise, but I'm really, really worried for Milan's health. For a certainty, because yeah. Two hit points. Ain't good. How does this even work? How can you defeat? How many enemies would there be? <laughs> um, 20 hit points. Rearing strike. That's what he did just a moment ago. Almost someone else would need to mark themselves. So that uh, he wouldn't get attacked. If we try to stay here. But this is really dangerous. Extremely so. Impale is otherwise cool, but it does take us a little bit back. Which I guess is fine-ish. Does attack everyone. How much damage did it have? 3 to 5. So it would definitely not kill any one of them, but if we are to stay here... But I'm so scared that Milan will die as a result. I don't remember if anyone else had a marked skill or something. Sometimes it feels that it would be better for me to just attack. And try to see if I could get a crit and immediately kill one of these, rather than do the other thing. It just, Milan just lost way too much health. He did great job too, Milan did, with all the repost, but he's just so wounded now. Destroyed. That's nice at least. One guy would be out completely. Well, there's only one thing I can think of doing, which is healing Milan. 7 HP. Did you have anything of a sort? You have that. I don't think you have any sort of a marking skill. You can try to stun, yes. Which might be worth it. Uh, stun 20%, stun 50%. This is the guy that is gonna attack next though, so that's why I would like to try to stun this guy first. Just for that reason. Not gonna activate that because that would mark you. Definitely a new. You could try to do this, which would then possibly stun this guy as well, which could be okay. Stun is 50% resistance for this horse anyway, so unlikely to happen, but maybe. Unfortunately, no. Well, we can try to do against this horse now, see if the stun would work this time around. Yes. So at least it will not be able to attack whatever it would wish to do. Then you would definitely try to see if you could maybe even kill this farmhand. You did. Amazing. Destroy. 
Whew. <sighs> yeah, try to destroy them all. That's not always that easy. Uh, no point trying to do this. Uh, another stun goes. He has to stun. Yeah, stun. It's 100% resistance at the moment, so very much no point. We could try to buff someone, but... Um, not certain if that would be the best. Might be good at this moment to try to do, though. So, let's try to buff Viseneko, I think. Oh, is that... Okay, it's a buff for everyone. That actually would have been very useful to do a lot earlier than to... I'm also worried for myself, but at least I'm not bleeding anymore. But uh, it's a good question if this guy actually would be able to attack me all the way here. Maybe I should just do the Divine Healing, which heals all of us a little bit. So I heal also myself, but 1 HP is uh, quite little. Oh my god, another horse? Well, definitely I think this is a decent choice if we are to try to survive, considering it causes them to both possibly get blight, because I can attack both of them when they are both po sort of in the middle. Even if a stun for this would also be amazing. But if we are trying to stay here a little bit longer, then... Well, they would be both uh, blighted, which is at least decent. Why? Why against Milan? Why bleed into... Okay, you stealthed yourself. Don't love that. Stealth. Monsters will stealth. Have, uh, monsters with stealth have a shadowy appearance and cannot be hit by direct attacks, but are vulnerable to area of effect attacks. Additionally, some hero skills such as the shield breakers expose can hit them while in stealth. These skills have the additional benefit of de-stealthing the monster. <sighs> yes, sir. We, we do have um, bypass stealth, this one, for example, if we wish. But uh, I guess that could be a good one, just in a sense of um, doing... I'm not exactly sure if it applies those um, things or how it exactly works, but unfortunately... Okay, I could indeed target him with this. I guess that could be worth it. Even... I'm just so worried. Uh, so worried. Well nice crit, though. Very nice crit. You had to stun too. Well, definitely I would be healing you, but uh, I don't know if that's enough by any means. Especially when these guys get turns first. I'm not... That's not too bad. I, I don't mind you going to stealth in this moment. Definitely that's the least of my worries. Let's see if we can stun this guy. We at least hit. Resistant, but stun. He can't attack. Perfect. Be very happy about that. Can't really... Well, this should hit both of them anyway, so I guess that's the best. Because stealth only protects from if I would specifically attack him, I think. So I can try to do that. This is useless because they are both anyways there. <sighs> Might be also a good time to try to do this. We don't have that much stress, so it wouldn't be that big of an issue to do. It's just a question if these skills that you would then have. Okay, so you have at the moment these, so you should have these then. Would be worth it. This is Rake, which buffs your damage. Grit modifier. Alright. And then slam. Knock back to the buff target. Minus 10 to dodge, minus 2 to speed. That's pretty nice debuffs. I don't know. I feel that I would rather attack and just try to kill these forces. Four damage per three per round for three turns, so you should basically die next turn, I think. And you also get four damage, which is not bad. So I definitely do think that this would still be the best. The only sad thing is that you are already at the uh, in a little bit future than I would like you to be. On the other hand, you can use most of these from the spot that our abomination is in as well as in Caesar. So, go with the Neku, this guy. Great 
is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay, you heal. The wounds of war can be healed. Very slowly but though. Never hidden. Yeah, never hidden. Try to stun if possible, Caesar. A resistant, which is understandable, but you are getting still four damage, so you have six HP, so I shouldn't have to do that much damage. And you killed, so very nice job. No intrinsic merit. Definitely heal. Inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. All right, I think this would be the perfect time to try to do a buff. I'd say so. Yes, buff us. While we still have decent health, at least you have 15 health now, so not nearly as bad. They do keep coming, and I'm not certain if we can survive this full time. Okay, so three of these goddamn farmhands, that's a lot of them. And then Scarecrow, with a dodge of 15, a lot more dodge, and then speed 6. But at least we have this buff, so plus 5 to accuracy for 2 rounds, plus 4% to crit, plus 15% damage while guarded. So, not bad. Not bad at all. This can only be done against those two. That's kind of against them too. I guess we might as well try to blight this, but they do have a lot of blight resistance. Or we could try to do this and transform. You don't need the healing for a certainty, but maybe those skills would be more useful. On the other hand, just sunning right now would be cool too. So maybe I should just try to stun so at least one of them wouldn't be able to attack. I think that's actually better. You can try to stun only this guy, but I guess that's okay nonetheless. If you would manage to do the stun, you did. So only one of them can attack, and Visenecu actually has a good amount of health. Even though stress ain't cool, but it's okay in this situation. Okay, we don't... I wish that someone could mark. <laughs> we could do so much better damage then. Can't sadly hit this goddamn scarecrow. Well, because you have stealth for one round. Actually, you can try to de-stealth. I think that's cool. That's the reason you couldn't... A lot of people couldn't hit this guy because, of course, he was in stealth. Okay, let's do divine healing so I can heal a little bit of myself and everyone. Maybe I can get a little bit better healing than one. Yay, two hit points is better than nothing. Okay, then what? <laughs> then what? Now I can actually hit this guy too. Uh, stun resistance is 60%, so it is unlikely to happen. Mm. I can't really think of... Uh, getting these guys stunned anymore, so I might just try to see if I can plight them. Not certain. Maybe I should target this one. On the other hand, someone else could maybe kill them better. Okay, let's try to get the plight. Okay, at least two hit damage, damage to both of them. Both of them resisted the plight, which isn't surprising. Can't really help that. Uh, maybe we could kill the Scarecrow with the Neku Go. No, no, not dead. Very close to being dead, but not dead. I don't like haunting revelations. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. I don't like how they all want to attack Milan. That's not too bad, though. You have plenty of... Um, as in, you are not nearly as stressed. You are halfway now, but that's not too bad. So, nonetheless, tree stress is a lot, but it's not too bad in the end. It's not be too, 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 too bad. You can stun now. Kind of wish that you could attack a lot of them, <laughs> but uh, can't exactly be helped. You could, of course, activate this, but uh, I'm just uh, kind of afraid that that would be a very bad idea when you have solo health. So I don't think I can think of doing that. You could, I could just kill this guy, which would be decent, or. This, this isn't gonna be doing the kill against this, but I could try to kill with... Yeah, I, I could just hit one of these guys, considering this guy is pretty wounded already. Someone else could try to finish him off. Okay, try to kill one of the farmhands. 
they deal damage, so it is quite a bit of a problem, I'd say. Heal. Heal! There's more and more healing trying to do. Two damage per round is not good. We may have to go and try to escape, I'd say. I'd say as much. Now then, the question, who should I try to attack? Who should I try to attack? 6 HP. You wouldn't be able to kill with this. Let's try to kill this. <laughs> God damn it, Caesar, why did you have to miss? It's not good. It's not good at all. <laughs> Let's get you forward, I guess. Maybe we can try to keep Milan a little bit safer. I'm grateful you're attacking someone else than Milan. Milan does not have the health for this. I do not know what you're doing here. Truly, I do not know. If we would destroy this, I guess we would just get some more of these crystals, rather. I think this guy is a way more important to destroy right now, though. And you have only one job, which is heal Milan at the moment. <laughs> I don't like seeds. Do not sow seeds at me. Okay, Crystal can attack as well. I had no idea about that. No idea. From becoming unwound. So, yeah, that's... Uh, th if I would have had any knowledge that the Crystal can attack, I would have killed it. But, of course, I didn't see that previously, so... When a hero is reduced to zero hit points, they are at the death's door. While in this state, they will suffer stat penalties, plus any future damage has a chance to kill them. Heal them to get off death's door. Yes. Milan has a very much chance to die at this moment, and we don't like that. I think we have to retreat now. We can't do this mission unless we risk losing Milan. There's, that's just too many enemies immediately. We got this pretty high, but yeah, escaped empty-handed. We must. We must. Where there is no peril in the task, there can be no glory in its accomplishment. We killed eleven. Apparently we didn't get even any shards from that, but we had to leave. Otherwise we would have lost Milan, certainly. Sadly, didn't get any of these rewards, but collected tre treasure was one medical herbs and 20 cash. <laughs> we did get a lot of experience, if we, if we think about it in that way, but yeah, didn't apparently get any. Tuckered out. Milan got tuckered out, so minus 10% damage if HP below 50%. That's sad. Viseneko is apparently a gambler. In town we'll only gamble. Why Why are you such a gambler, Viseneko? And then Caesar is a perfectionist. Wow, plus why stress when attack misses? Why? Why must you do that? But yeah, we were close, but Milan just got way too much damage. She has paid dearly for her freedom. And deserves better than this place. And then, hear ye, hear ye, a desert wind arrives, a sandstorm of rumors and half-truths swirl around the newcomer. So, I guess we can be hiring this person now from the stagecoat. And we also get blacksmith and guild into here. But yeah, it's an unfortunate thing that we had to return empty-handed, but... That was a little bit of a tough situation to try to go into. Okay, let's upgrade this goddamn penitence hall at least a little bit. Stress recovery? Sure. Not sure if I. Automatic rituals. For some, atomic against the bloodshed. I guess we could try to reduce the treatment cost a little bit, so we can send you into here. Only true blood will I know absolution. I would love to also get the skill. No mistake. We will face ever greater threats. Our soldiers must be ready. But yeah, we don't have any more of these because we didn't gain almost anything there, which is very sad. Sad fact that we didn't gain almost anything. But the yeah, allo skill upgrades to rank 2 would be great, but I don't think we can actually do that right now then. And Blacksmith. The blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. Would love to upgrade this as well, but we do not have any of these. I did notice when I was exploring this that nowadays there is a possibility to trade something for something else, but on the other hand, all of these are precious for us right now. 
So I think we will not try to do that quite yet. Okay, so we got Helion and a Crave Robber, I guess. Not that person that I thought that maybe we could have gotten. Vitsalan, Helion, definitely. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. Yes. And Tyrell. Both of them joining us. And Tyrell, we at least will be knowing a name for already, as seen. Saten Denho. Saten Denho has joined our group. Vitsalan, not quite certain who Vitsalan should be as of yet, but... Well, maybe someone would like to be her. But also I was going to be saying that I probably will have three to five battles at least before I will be uploading the first episode into YouTube. So if you think that I haven't named your character yet and you have left in the first episode a comment, uh, they will be named afterwards. But it's just nice to be able to play a little bit more at once rather than immediately going and uploading and then having to do that. So, but yeah. At least we have a couple of new members to join us, but basically all of us would even need some assistance right now, which is kind of sad. And of course you have to be gambling. Now that Visineku can only do gambling, you wanna be in the gambling hall. Of course you must. I think we wanna be up, uh, upgrading one of these locations so that we would prefer to use it. Maybe the portal. Sure. Strong drink, a game of chance and companionship. The rush of life. Mm -hmm. Milan is the one that has the biggest stress at the moment, so I think we'll send Milan here. However, that apparently would be cheaper. I wonder why Bar is so much cheaper. Ah, well, I already upgraded this. Treatment cost by 13% would be great, but we don't really have anything that we can these enough to be able to do that, so. Uh, can't really be helped. I think it's still logical to at least send you into one of these locations, so sure. Maybe I should send you to then just drink. Maybe I could upgrade this too, but it's just... Upgrading too many locations seems like a bad idea. But you get more uh, stress recovery from the Protol, so go into the Protol, Milan. I choose you, you and you. It's been a rough day, apparently, yes. Choosing a lot. But, uh, of course, I have to be cautious with our money. We don't have that much that we can just spend it everywhere and all the time. But hey, at least it was very interesting to go and visit in that location that I had never been in within before. But uh, next time I think we'll go into the ruins or the wild and go back into this location when we have a little bit, I feel, better chance of actually making it true. It was at least nice to see it, but yeah. I think that's a better choice. So we will show, uh, we will be continuing this next time from here. I will be embarking into the ruins or the wild the next time with a new group and see how that will be going. Well, not completely a new group. I think that at least you would travel and uh, I think Saten Denho is a good choice now considering you are already here. So let's see anyways, you, Saten Denho, are you? A cove's cruncher, so plus five percent scouting chance in the cove, and you're antsy, so plus twenty stress when idle in town for a week. Okay, you you don't like to be idle, gotcha. And scientific divine grace minus twenty percent to healing received, and divine comfort minus twenty percent healing received. So I don't think you would like to travel with someone like me, as in a cleric who gives uh, because you don't you don't believe in such bullshit, if I could say so. You're too scientific, Saten Denho. Uh, Vitsalan, on the other hand, is Potomania, so minus 20% stress if Torch is both 75, and Automatonopopia, so plus 20% stress versus human. Apparently, you do not like humans. Alrighty, gotcha. Do not like to fight against humans. Yeah, I can't get these horrible images out of my head. Well, maybe at some point, Milan. Hopefully, yes. Caesar, of course, would definitely also need some stress relief, I'd say, before we would be sending you out. Visenepku maybe could leave without needing stress relief, but yeah. And then the, these guys maybe all could be sent out. We'll have to see then next time around exactly who we'll, we'll be sending out. So thank you for watching some more Darkest Dungeon. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
and uh, I shall see you for more next time around. So thank you for watching. Bye bye till then.